Okay, what's going on YouTube fam? I'm doing a quick box packing video for this adorable baby. You guys saw the whip of her. Isaac, hey, be quiet. You guys saw the whip of her. She is the Grant Scope. I think she's by Michelle Fagan, y'all. Y'all know I, I always forget who Scope survived. I should have looked that up. But anyways, um, she's 23 inches long. Um, she does have a name. Um, I won't reveal her name. I'll let the mommy do that. Um, but um, anyways, this is her adorable little face. This is her hair. She is micro rooted. She has curly hair. Um, she also has um, her hair. If you, uh, which you guys will see in more depth, um, my one year anniversary video, how I describe her hair, um, because I did use her in comparison to my very first reborn that I did. But she is micro rooted. Um, she has bone straight hair down here at the very bottom, and then it transitioned to a look. Hey. And it transitions into a nice little wavy uh, texture hair up in here. And then it's the curliest, tightest curl at the top. And that, um, that she's rooted like that all the way around um, the whole perimeter of her hair. But anyway, she has beautiful baby hair. Um, it's micro-rooted. I'll show it to you. It's cut fairly short. Only because I like for my baby hairs to be cut short. So when you go to try to brush her hair or do little ponytails, the baby hairs don't get caught up with the longer hair and they get accidentally snatched out. Because they are the, you know, the finest of hair that's rooted. So it's cut fairly short. I'll show it to you. And it doesn't take much to get it back in place. But just you can literally use your fingers to um, smooth it right back in place. Um, it's very finely rooted. Um and cut uh it's direct very um finely rooted and directionally rooted so very easy to maintain and it, the hair the curly hair will be very easy to maintain as well because like i said it's not the tight curl all over it's straight to a loose wave in here and to the tightest curl and um with styling her hair and just brushing it and playing around in her hair i've noticed that it is a whole lot easier um, to manage, um, especially for those who know um, about, you know, have babies with, you know, mohair and it's curly. So anyways, that's her. I'll show you guys her hands. Let's take a look at her hands really quickly. And I don't want to run out of time. Y'all know all my videos cut off. I don't never have enough space on my phone. I have so many pictures because I take a lot of pictures of uh, babies that you guys don't get to see because a lot of times they're custom rooting. I take a lot of pictures of those for their moms and then also too for our Facebook and my Instagram um, so people can see that I do um, how my rooting looks um, up close and personal. Which I should do probably like a little slideshow to show you guys um, my rooting just rooting alone not just the painting but anyways let me show you her feet the bottom of her feet this is one of her feet one of her foot i guess a foot <laughs> um <laughs> and her mom wanted you know her the baby to be uh as you know as realistic as possible so this is her other foot um i love the hands on um this sculpt as well as the eastern sculpt and the elliot sculpt I'll show you her hands and her nails. Hopefully it'll, it may like focus. It may not focus. If it doesn't focus, sorry about that. But this kit has wonderful nails. Very, very, very beautiful nails. Um, almost to where you can feel the nail is a little bit longer than the actual. They actually have like nails that like you can actually feel. So anyways, I'm going to hold her the entire time that I do um, her box packing so you guys can take a look at her and just be looking at her. She knows me anyway. See, I like to see. I like to see. Anyway, she's got full arms and full legs, as you can see. Um, and she'll, she will be coming home with this white onesie, but she has an outfit that goes with it. It's a pair of these gray pants, and it has um, this bright um, orange... Um, uh, it's going to be very, very, very bright on camera. But um, this bright orange, like, um, little hoodie, she'll be wearing that. I'll put that on her. But I wanted to, you know, do her in just the onesie so you guys can take a look at her painting. Um, just a little bit more to the side. If it's a mess back in the background, y'all know this is the reborn area. You know, it's uh, box packing video days or box packing days are usually the most hectic. And the nursery kind of just gets trashed because you're trying to get everything together everything in the box everything nice and neat and stuff just kind of goes all over the place but anyways so she'll be wearing that outfit home she'll also be coming home in this cute little blue jean dress 
Um, she'll also be coming home with this um, Carter's dress. And just for her mom, most of her clothes are six to nine months because that's what she fits most comfortably in. Um, you may be able to squeeze her in something smaller. I wouldn't go anything bigger. Um, but anyways, she'll be coming home with this outfit too. Um, she'll also be coming home with this three-piece uh, Carter set. Um, this is the one on the back. I love this one though. This is why I bought this set. I love this one. Um, so this three-piece set as well as this five-piece Carter set. She'll be coming home with that. Um, she'll also be coming home with Pampers, you know, Pacifier and whatnot. Um, so, but that's her. I also wanted to thank her mom for, um, you know, being so patient with me. She was accustomed, and her mom was just so, so, so patient with me as far as the reborning process. Um, um, you know, she didn't, you know, really have me or, you know, uh, you know, bother me too much. She just kind of let me have uh, my way, and she did. She did. She gave me free reign over this baby, down to the eyes, down to the rooting, down to everything. She let me have a vision for her baby, and she just let me create it on canvas, which would be the vinyl. And I appreciate that so much. It's always um, when you get caught up in customs, it's always an honor or a privilege when you get the opportunity to. Um, uh, create a baby and you have somebody to say yeah I want to custom by you but I want you to do whatever you want to do however you see the baby the only thing I didn't pick was the sculpt outside of that I had absolutely free reign and I did this baby <laughs> all on the count of how I wanted her lips to look and how I wanted her hair to be rooted everything is geared is followed suit to that um, I wanted her to look her lips look to look a certain way so her skin color was painted according to that and her hair to look a certain way so um, she was a lot of fun to paint she she really was um, she was a baby that helped me grow for sure she was one of those babies that um, pushed me uh, pushed me and um, I grew with reborning her all you guys that paint know about those babies that push you and help you grow or get to another level in your um, skill or your artistry or your reborning um, sometimes you have those babies that do they just kind of uh, catapult you out there to like on another level you learn so much in the midst of in the midst of painting you're supposed to at least um instead of just always painting the same you're supposed to grow and learn so this is one of those babies that helped me grow and learn so anyways it says she does have a name i'm not gonna reveal it i don't even know if i'm saying it right anyway because i've been calling her her name but i don't know if i've been saying it right so if she answers to something different mom that's because i've been tearing this poor cute girl's name up but anyways we're gone. I'm going to uh, box her up and get her ready to ship on now. Um, say bye. As always, guys, um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.